Hello, welcome to the second edition of UMass Athletics One More Minute. We're here with Anthony Rayola, redshirt freshman defenseman. Anthony, we're about to board the plane to go to your home state of Minnesota. How excited are you? I'm pretty excited, you know, I get to go home, see all my family and friends, play some hockey, but you can't ask for much more. All right, so me and Anthony are here, we're with the boys. Troy Power, Paul Dayton, Woo! Becca is not on the trip. Becca's not coming. <laughs> not coming. Eric Filiu. Becca's getting babysat. Here's our plane right here. We're getting ready. <laughs> and ready to board here. Look at the smile on Anthony Rayola's face right now. Look how excited yeah, he is. Going home. So we're approaching the city limits of Minneapolis. Yep. Anthony, uh, so how are we going to get there? What highway are we on here? Uh, we're on 35 right now. We're going to get off on 94 and then probably, depending on what the bus driver wants to do, we'll probably get off on Uni University Avenue and head right to the rink and uh, we'll get a nice little practice in, get our legs loose uh, after that flight and uh, then go back to the hotel and get ready for dinner. Is it true that Mighty Ducks was filmed in Minneapolis? Yes, it was. It was uh, filmed at various ice rinks around town. Um, we're actually going to be passing one here in a little bit, and then they also did some uh, shots at Mall of America at uh, Camp Snoopy, so when they were rollerblading around and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're approaching Minnesota's campus here. So, Anthony, what kind of uh, emotions is this stirring you? You know, it just brings back old memories. And, uh, I mean, I feel fine, feel normal, but it's just uh, thinking about a lot of stuff that I do when I'm around here and that I grow up doing it, so it's just all the motion. Alright, we just got off the ice for practice on Thursday. Anthony, how'd you feel? How'd it go? You know, it felt good to be back out on the ice again. Uh, I got our legs loose after being on the plane. Uh, you know, I looked up in the stands and saw some uh, memorabilia from uh, Minnesota Gophers, like all Americans and some trophies uh, and stuff. So, Herb Brooks was up there, so it's good to see some uh, Minnesota history here. Now, uh, Mariucci Arena, you played a, uh, it's a state tournament here in Pavlovich. Just bring back some memories? Yeah, uh, actually, I just saw some of my buddies who uh, played for the Gophers, and uh, we were talking about it, about how we played here in high school, and how uh, this weekend should be a fun one. We're in the hotel, finally checked in, the Radisson. Um, we're right near a Chipotle, one of your favorites. Yes. Um, felt it was appropriate to wear the Mighty Duck shirt today, rep Minnesota a little bit. Um, Anthony's about to go home and uh, hang out at his home. He's going to take the camera. He's going to give you a little tour of his house, meet his parents, meet his family. Yeah. Show you guys around my house, kind of do a little bit of cribs style, something or other. I don't even know yet, but uh, I'll find something uh, for you guys to see about myself, and uh, that's going to what I'm, what I'm going to do tonight for uh, one more minute with Mr. Kevin Moore. Yep. I'm here at my house now in Minnesota. Uh, as you know, we're here playing the Minnesota Gophers, so I was lucky enough to come home for tonight. Uh, I'm going to show you guys around my room, show you a little bit about uh, Minnesota high school hockey and uh, where I played my Minnesota high school hockey and uh, why it's something special to me. So uh, you can follow me into my room. I'm going to show you guys some pictures and uh, jersey or two. So come on in. All right, starting off, we got my youth picture here that my mom framed for me. This is when I played at a small school, uh, Chaska. Uh, as you can see, I was wearing the assistant captain. Oh yeah, pretty big time when I was a little guy. So, But then I actually uh, transferred to Minnetonka High School, which is 15 minutes away. Uh, in this picture here, we're playing at the Excel Energy Center where the Minnesota Wild play. And uh, we, I actually scored a hat trick in this game somehow. I don't know how I did that, but... Uh, I was lucky enough to get a hat trick, and this was a uh, paper. Or this was this picture was printed in the paper, and uh, they sent it to my house, and uh, my mom framed it for me. Moving on, like I said, uh, high school hockey is a big deal here in in Minnesota, and uh, so a lot of my friends and family always come out and support the games. Uh, we get a lot of school spirit. Um, I, like I told you before, my name is uh, Timu. My nickname is Timu. So if you look all across the board, you get Timu everywhere. This is it pretty much everywhere on that poster. We find another one right here, Timu. Yeah, so some uh, great support from my family and friends. Uh, high school spirit for hockey is pretty big, as you can see. All the good luck. Hope you do well out at UMass. 
Sure enough, here we are in Minnesota playing the Gophers. Uh, moving on, the Minnesota High School State Hockey Tournament, also said before, is a pretty big deal out here in Minnesota. Every year they come up with the Minnesota Rink Rats uh, poster. It's always the same, uh, same setup with the rats here. And uh, they give the eight teams that make the state tournament, uh, they put the rats in their high school jerseys. So as you can see, we got the goalie that year. Uh, right there, the Minnetonka Skippers with the M. Uh, so my all my teammates signed that. It's a pretty big honor to have one of these because uh, only the teams that make it to the state tournament uh, get one of those. Uh, moving on, this is also from that same year. This is also at the Excel Energy Center where the Wild play. Uh, as you can see, Minnetonka Skippers. Uh, there's my team right there, for the National Anthem, up on the Jumbo, Jumbotron. Uh, 2006 state hockey tournament for I don't know how well you can see this but for most of you that don't know that is 18,000 people sitting in the stands at the Excel Energy Center so it's a pretty big deal uh, talked about it on the radio show a little bit talked about it with uh, Morrissey he wasn't able to come out here tonight so yeah that was uh, that was a really cool picture to get uh, with all the fans in the background moving on uh, I'm gonna shut my blinds really quick so that I don't get a glare. We got my senior gift from uh, the rest of my teammates. This this picture right here is actually at Mariucci Arena, where uh, where we will be playing the Minnesota Gophers this weekend. Uh, this was uh, the section finals game to go to state for my senior year. Uh, we lost to our rivals, Benilde St. Margaret's, in overtime. Uh, so I'm just in a, a dead-out sprint with my opponent right there, as you can see. I think we all know who won that race to the puck. Uh, the big 1-8 for the skippers right there, sprinting. So uh, it's right above my bed. I like to look at that. I think that I'm pretty good at hockey. Uh, and last but not least, there's my sister just hanging out. Hey. That's my sister. Hi. Hi. No, she thinks she's going to be on the website and something cool, but she won't. We'll cut her out. Anyways, if you want to hold this, Talia, this is my legendary high school hockey jersey. Uh, they gave it to me as a senior gift as well. Uh, number 18. Sorry, Doug. I look better in it. Uh, anyway, it was a sea captain. No big deal. Got the big M right there. As you can see, Minnesota also wears that M. Don't worry. I'll, uh, I'm... I'm going to be trying my hardest this weekend to, to stop that M. I'm actually uh, with my dad. Kevin Moore couldn't be out here to interview him. He wanted me to ask my dad some questions, so I'm interested to hear what he's going to say about me. Uh, how do you feel about me being back home uh, playing against the Gophers? What, what, what kind of emotions does that bring to you? I'm, I'm totally charged up. Uh, we've been looking at this on the uh, schedule for quite a while. and. Uh, you grew up playing with a lot of these kids that are playing for the Gophers, and you skated on that rink many times. And uh, you know, when from the time you were a little kid, dreamed of being a college hockey player, and now to have you play your first games uh, of your college career right here back at home and on the home rink is uh, pretty exciting. Got a lot of family and friends, and um, that are looking forward to coming out. Well, thanks, Dad. Pretty emotional. Uh, yeah. So that's my dad. He's pretty pumped about me being home, like I am. Uh, it's going to be nice to play my, hopefully play my first games here against the Minnesota Gophers, who I grew up watching as a little kid. Thanks. All right, we're back here at the uh, Minneapolis airport with Anthony Rayola. And uh, quite a big night last night for, for the Minnesota native. He played in his first collegiate game. He scored his first collegiate goal against the team he grew up rooting for at an arena that he played in growing up, Anthony, how did it feel to score your first goal in front of the hometown crowd? Uh, I mean, words can't even explain it. It's, uh, it was a dream come true. Uh, it's probably one of the best feelings I've had ever in my life. Uh, just uh, being there with uh, our team and uh, selling with the guys, it was, uh, they were all happy for me. And you know, my family and friends were there cheering me on for my first game. So uh, it's pretty much perfect, and I couldn't ask for anything better. So. And UMass is on the scoreboard. Anthony Rayola's first collegiate goal. The redshirt freshman has put the Minutemen on the board. Minnesota three, UMass one. Is that, is that the biggest thing you're going to take take home? Is the goal or is something else stand out? I mean, 
it's disappointing that that we lost the games, but uh, the goal is something I'll always uh, remember forever, and uh, hopefully someday I tell my kids about. Uh, but also just uh, playing in my first collegiate hockey game was uh, pretty uh, pretty special, and I uh, hope I can build off of uh, last night and uh, have a good four years uh, here at Amherst. So. All right. Well, that is the conclusion of a day in the life, Anthony Rayola. This has been one more minute for UMassAthletics.com. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. We'll see you when we get back to UMass. Have a good night.